can change the heart like Jesus by his presence all divine true and tender pure and precious oh how blessed to call him mine all that thrills my soul is Jesus he is more than life to me and the fairest of ten thousand in my blessed Lord I see love of Christ so freely given grace of God beyond degree mercy higher than the heavens deeper than the deepest sea all that thrills my soul is Jesus he is more than life to me fairest of ten thousand in my blessed Lord I see every need is unsupplying every good in him I see oh strength divine relying he is all in all to me all that thrills my soul is Jesus he is more than life to me And the fairest of ten thousand In my blessed Lord I sing By the crystal flowing river With the ransomed I will sing and forever and forever praise and glorify the king all oh, that thrills my soul is jesus he is more than life to me fairest of ten thousand in my blessed Lord I see and the fairest of ten thousand in my blessed Lord I see The word of God says that it is better one day before the Lord than a thousand days elsewhere. Let's pray, then we listen to the word of God this evening. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this university. We thank you that there is a pulpit we can gather around regularly to listen to you from that pulpit. Make this pulpit relevant. Make this pulpit a blessing and save us 
from getting bored by your word. And we pray that during this Health Emphasis Week, you will focus our minds again to the issues of health. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Uh, don't you like the brethren who symbolize health here? Hallelujah. Yeah, I've just fitted my dust coat, so maybe later in the week I may appear in one. The message I want to share with you today says, to enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. Mind the property and the landlord. To enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. To enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. Tenancy is the state of being a tenant. A tenant is one who rents or pays to use property that belongs to another person and they use it for a period of time. Sometimes some people come to me to rent my car, one of my cars, are we together? And say that I would like your other car, the other one. And they say, I will give you this amount of money and I will use it for five hours or seven hours. They are tenants. They are renting my car. And many of us are renting houses around here. We live in houses that are not ours. We are tenants. And the owner of the house is the landlord. And therefore, when you are a tenant, you are in tenancy. You are enjoying that period of being a tenant. And so when I rent my car to you, you sit inside, you buckle the seatbelt, you change the radio station, and for a moment you feel like it's yours. Are we together? That's tenancy. But after a few hours, you have to return to the owner. We are saying to enjoy tenancy, Mind the property and the landlord. If you want to have an easy time while renting property, this is the free advice. Mind the property and the landlord. As a tenant, you need this property that belongs to someone else and therefore you, you, you need to follow this good advice that mind the property and the landlord. Sometimes I also rent services of other people when I jump on a motorbike between here and the next town. When I pay that person, I'm renting the motorbike at that time. And at that time, I cannot say, hey, listen, I need to change the headlight, I need to change this. No, it's just for a short period of time. To enjoy the ride when I'm renting, between here and the next place, I need to mind the property and the owner, the landlord. While living in someone else's property, take good care of it because it doesn't belong to you. You have only rented it. Hence the advice, mind the property and also mind the landlord. While living in someone else's property, have a good relationship with the landlord. You can't jump on a motorbike and when the brother takes on the bus and you are behind there and you get some gas from, are we together? You understand what I'm talking about? And then you start saying, mm, brother, you smell too much. Do you really bathe? Do you think you will reach the destination where you are going? It is true that you may be getting a supply of things you don't expect from the back, but sometimes you persevere by raising your nose in the air so that you reach your destination. And that's why we are saying to enjoy tenancy, have a good relationship with the landlord. To enjoy tenancy, mind the property, but also mind the landlord. You know, it has been said that there are some people, you give a ride in your small car, and as you are passing the big cars, the Range Rovers, they say, hmm, those are the men now. 
Those are the men who own those kind of cars. Yeah, did you see that car? Those are now men. And you know, I'm in my small vits and I've given you a right. I can pull over and tell you, please get out and get into the car of the men. Listen, brethren, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you today is that to enjoy tenancy, mind number one, what? Number one, mind what? The property. Number two, the landlord. When you are in my small car, don't start hammering things. There is good manners in being carried. Don't say, oh, I don't like that music. Can you change? Mind the property. Don't put your stickers on my car. Mind the property. But while you are minding the property, don't forget the owner of the property, the landlord. Also relate well with me. Even when you like the car that has just overtaken us, don't say it. Don't say that I think this car is slow. Those are the real cars. No, mind the landlord. Mind the owner. The landlord is the owner who has allowed you to stay in his property. Therefore, to be happy and be assisted when in need, mind the property, but don't forget to relate well with the landlord. And that's why we are saying to enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. Brothers and sisters, allow me to come down and say that God is the landlord. I said God is the landlord. God is the landlord of our world. He created it. When you read the Bible, the Bible presents God as a landlord who owns everything. Matthew chapter 5 verse 44 and 45 the Bible says, speaking about love your enemies. Don't only love those who love you. The Bible, while explaining that, talks about God supplying facilities in the world that he owes, owns. This is what the Bible says. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Why? Verse 45 so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven, for he makes his Son, for he makes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. What is the Bible saying? That in this facility that we own, that God owns, we have all rented, and he supplies light to the wicked and the righteous. He's the one who's supplying. And he supplies water, rain, to the wicked and the righteous. God has got tenants, and he has good tenants and bad tenants, but strangely, he treats them the same. He's the landlord, and he knows that's a bad tenant. He doesn't even like worshipping me. He doesn't care about me, but he supplies water, supplies light. And it is on that basis that we must love our fellow tenants because they are renting, we are renting. God is the landlord, but some of us behave like landlords. To enjoy tenancy... Mind the property and the landlord. Acts chapter 17, verse 24, 25, 26. Here, the Bible talks about God allocating. You know, when you go to a landlord, the landlord will allocate you where to stay. Are we together? You know, you come and say, I need a house. And the landlord says, I will give you house number seven or house number 18. You, you can take it or leave it. The, the landlord allocates. Look at what the Bible says. This is Paul the Apostle preaching to the Greeks in Athens. And he says, the God who made the world and everything in it, Acts 17, 24. Acts 17, 24. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. Good. God 
who made the world and everything in it, that makes him the landlord. He made everything. The world and everything in it. The grass is his, the cows are his, the donkeys are his, the mosquitoes are his. Since he is the Lord of where and where, of heaven and earth, and he does not dwell in temples that are made with hands. Proceed, verse 25. Nor is he worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, since he gives to all life. Who is the landlord of life? God. He gives life. He gives breath. And he gives what else? All things. So my expensive diamond-breasted watch belongs to who? To God. My top-of-the-range jeans belongs to who? <laughs> and my classic iPad, here too far unseen by any of you, belongs to who? To God. The Bible says he gives life, he gives breath, and he gives what else? What else does he give? All things. So my heart is beating Courtesy of who? The landlord. I have rented life. The heart is beating because he has granted. If he changes his mind and he says enough is enough, it's over. You remember the rich fool? The rich fool harvested and told himself, my soul sit and enjoy. And he was told, you fool, the landlord is kicking you out of life. Tonight, the one who gave you life wants it back. What will you do? You discover you are never the landlord of anything. I want you to know that God is the landlord of everything. Even the clothes we wear, we have rented from him. The very breath of our life is rented from him. Our own life as we walk around is rented from him. And today, he has hired me to be a speaker. It is rented. If he did not want me to preach today, I will get serious diarrhea that I will not be here preaching. <laughs> he has many options. He can turn me go mad or stomachache or headache or even dead and I will not be here. Even the preaching here, I can't hear and say my sermon today is not even my sermon. It is rented from God. God is the landlord of everything, including our health. Everything belongs to God. Everything belongs to God. Even the Bible says the breath, the breath as you are breathing. It belongs to God. Life is not made of oxygen. You go to the morgue and pump oxygen on dead bodies. Will they rise up? Life comes from God, not from oxygen. Oh, we were still reading verse 26. Verse 26. And God has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on the face of the earth. What do you say? And has determined, listen now, he has determined their pre-appointed time and boundary of their dwelling. He is truly the landlord. He has decided when you will occupy his facilities and for how long and where. God is the landlord who owns heaven and earth and people. God is the landlord who allocated three things. Number one, the life we occupy, he is the landlord. The time we occupy, he is the landlord. And the place we occupy, he is the landlord. The Bible says he decided that black people will be in Africa. He is the one who decided. 
And he is the one who decided that you will be born at such a time. He is the one who decided that at such a time you will be at the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. It is him, the landlord, who decides that today you can listen to this sermon. He is the landlord. Landlord of life, landlord of time, landlord of place that we occupy. And that's why we have just come to give free advice. To enjoy tenancy of life. To enjoy tenancy of time. To enjoy tenancy of place. Mind the property and the landlord. To enjoy life, to enjoy time, and to enjoy place. You know what time is? Time is how long you live. God has given you time. God knows when we will die. So in case I'm going to die at age 70, brethren, it will not pass. It doesn't matter what I do. I can take a lot of water, eat vegetables, I can do everything, but when the time comes when the landlord allocated, I will depart. And so I must take care of the time I am occupying. In Psalm 24 verse 1, the Bible says, the earth, Psalm 24 verse 1, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and those who dwell therein belong to God. The Bible says, look at that verse, it's on your screens now. The earth is whose? I can't hear you. The earth is whose? Is the Lord's. He's the landlord. The earth is the Lord's. And all its fullness, that means everything inside there is his. The world and those, those who dwell therein, even the people inside belong to God. So these people we call, oh, my wife, my husband, my children, my boyfriend, my girlfriend, they belong to God. Even the my is misplaced. God is the landlord of our lives and he owns us and everything in it. Our lives are rented from God. Our bodies are rented from God. Everything we have is rented from God. That's why we say to enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. Healthful living has to do with the proper care of the rented life that we have. Why do we have health emphasis week? To emphasize the importance of taking care of the property that God owns. It is like reminding ourselves the rules of occupation. I have lived in places where they say, always leave the gate closed. Don't hoot when you reach the gate. These are rules of occupying that place. And healthful living has to do with the proper care of what we are renting from God. Life and time. No landlord will be happy when we don't follow tenancy rules. And that's why we have invited a medical doctor to come for the whole week to remind us how to take care of this property that we are renting from God. It's not our property. It is God's. And you know, if you don't take good care of it, you are thrown out. And many have been thrown out for putting in stuff that should never be put in. And after a short time, life is cut short, they depart, we bury them. You know what that means? They were thrown out of their tenancy. No landlord will be happy when we don't follow the tenancy rules. No landlord will tolerate destruction or significant changes on his property. You can't go to someone's house and start making significant changes. If he painted the building black, leave it black. But there are buildings here he painted black and they go and bleach themselves. <laughs> and so the landlord is wondering, didn't I paint this black? There are those I painted white. There are those I painted red. But this one I painted black. And so you find it disorganized where you find 
the, the front of the house is white. But when you get to the other sides of the house, it is black. Listen, don't change the house. To enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. If he didn't drill holes, don't drill a hole where he didn't drill. He has provided enough holes for several services. Are we together? Why are you adding holes? Please, to enjoy tenancy, mind the property and mind the landlord. Some of you are adding holes even where they have no value. When the landlord comes around to inspect, he wonders, why did you drill a hole there? What do you want to use that hole for? Because all other uses are provided for. Don't cut or add weight that is unapproved. You know that in certain properties, you cannot live more than a certain number of people. I cannot give you a small house of two people and you bring 75 relatives staying inside. That is putting too much weight on the property. And the property will give up. Minimum changes are allowed, but significant changes are not allowed in any property, including God's property. Don't strain the facility with fatigue and lack of sleep. In case of need for repairs, the landlord prefers qualified and tested workmen, not quacks. In case you want to fix something, can you imagine bringing somebody who is not an electrician to fix electricity? You will burn the facility. And so, when there is a problem with the facility, talk to qualified people, and many of them look like this. Not people who are testing roots and leaves on you. The landlord isn't thrilled with those kind of things. To enjoy tenancy, mind the property and the landlord. So I want to invite you this week, brothers and sisters, let us learn how to mind the property. But the rest of the semester, we talk about how to mind the landlord. This week, let's focus on the property. And so I want to ask you, will you mind the property and the landlord? I can't hear you. Will you mind the property and the landlord? Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this facility of time. We are alive today because you have allowed us to have this life that belongs to you. Thank you for these bodies that belong to you. And sometimes we need repairs. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, that you will pass by Touch us and repair us. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, that this week we will focus our minds on minding the property, but we will not forget to mind you who is the landlord. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you so much.